Now, Hong Kong police have entered the trashed campus of a Polytechnic University for the first time since the start of that standoff 11 days ago. Uh, hundreds of officers, including firefighters and bomb disposal experts, combed the area. And they've found knives, bows and arrows, as well as a giant catapult. They've also seized a large number of petrol bombs and dangerous materials left by protesters. And police have also been gathering evidence of the damage to the university grounds. Our correspondent, Afifa Arafin, is at the university. She's joining us live now. Afifa, uh, they've been combing through these uh, police and firefighters, uh, sweeping through the campus all day. Uh, what's the latest? What's next? Well, I'm outside uh, the campus of Hong Kong Polytechnic University and it's uh, very quiet. It's been like this. We've been here the entire afternoon. We do know uh, that the police, as you said, has been combing uh, the campus, you know, for two reasons. The first is to search for any sort of offensive weapons or explosive devices. And the second is to see just how severely damaged the school's facilities are. We are awaiting the police to finish their clearance operations. So, so the media is just uh, gathered here. We're waiting for them to come out uh, to address us and give a brief of what, whatever they said uh, earlier. But as we know, a small group of journalists uh, were allowed to follow the police into the campus for their clearance operations today. And if you have seen some of the footage that has come out from inside uh, this university, uh, we did see that there were riot uh, police dressed in tactical gear, hundreds of them as part of a special working group, which also comprised of explosive experts, and psychologists and social workers who were combing the entire campus. And they said that they found hundreds of uh, discarded uh, petrol bombs all around the campus. They also found a lot of offensive weapons ranging from uh, archery bows as well as makeshift catapults. You know, even in the courtyard, uh, the police said that they found jerry cans uh, filled with petrol and they suspect that the protesters had taken the petrol from the cars that were parked at the basement car park uh, of the university. Um, now, as of 2 p.m., the police said that they found 600 petrol bombs and 20 uh, canisters uh, containing containing uh, concentrated sulfuric acid, among other things. We also saw uh, that there were a lot of policemen who were dusting items like the glass bottles that were used to make the petrol bombs, uh, presumably to be able to get some fingerprints to identify uh, some of the protesters there. Uh, Aviva, is the campus now considered clear? Is there any indication of when the university will be able to reopen? Well, that's right. You know, yesterday, the school's management, when they combed the campus, they said that they couldn't find anybody left hiding inside. That's the message they conveyed to the police. But last night, we did see uh, there was one mass protester who came out and spoke to the media, saying that there were 20 people who could still uh, be hiding in, in the campus itself. Um, however, we have not heard from the police yet whether they did find anybody else uh, still sort of hiding out in the campus after 11 days now. They are still doing the operations. The school's so management and the police uh, initially hoped that they could conclude their investigations, gather all their evidence and uh, clear out the schools by today. But given that there were so many of these um, dangerous weapons, or all these chemicals that are lying around, uh, the police did say that they will need more time. And also, uh, given that you know, the school's facilities has been very severely damaged, uh, it remains to be seen just how long it could take for the school's management uh, to restore the school back to what it previously was. So it will take uh, at least a, a couple of, of weeks at this point in time and the, so the barricades outside of the school's perimeter will uh, still stand. All right, Mayor, thanks for that update. Arifin speaking to us from outside the Polytechnic University in Hong Kong. And that's right. Now, 